I hope you are all doing good. So today I'll be teaching how to load an image in the Pega Constellation view. So uh, earlier uh, we all know that uh, we used section, we were using section and uh, we were creating some binary file and you know we were loading the uh, image through the control inside the sections. But here as we all know we don't use the section. So how we are going to uh, load the image in the view, we will see that today. And uh, I'll also explain handling uh, the attachment in two ways, okay? And uploading the single attachment and uploading the multiple attachment also. Uh, finally, uh, I'll also teach that how to limit the attachment type using the out of the box option in the Pega Constellation. So let's get started. So let's go to the case type. And in the first case, uh, till now we have completed uh, three lectures I guess yep so this is the fourth one so we will uh, include our changes inside the latest uh, view which we have created for the central assignment so let's go to the view here we will be uh, creating the you know or uploading the image for that we need to first go to the design a uh, dev studio and we will not create the binary file here we are going to touch one instance which we say as a data content image here uh, we will be creating a new uh, instance okay for example, take anything for uh, like I have taken this PNG, okay? Because my image is going to be in a PNG form, a, a PNG type. So just save as and give some name like logo and give the same as here. What will be extension PNG? file path let it be and create and open okay we don't want this image we want our own image so go to upload file upload image and we will take this and upload it done it's same like binary file which we were creating earlier now it is saying no associate rule set just give our rule set what is our rule set uh, demo let's search demo app okay save so this is done now what we need to do we need to go to view and we need to load this right for that there is no such control which allows us to uh, you know load this image so what we will go we will go to the view we will create one more property let's create one new uh, logo okay we will give the type as url and i i will show you how uh, i'll be uh, changing this type okay uh, inside the property submit this once we submit this we will open this and we will convert this value as a image okay are we done no right we need to give the value of this logo correct so where we are going to give the value in the pdt so let's minimize this we will just create one more step we will give dot logo is equal to okay now how we need to uh, give the value here so it's basically uh, app url plus file path plus your image dot 
so this is how we need to form a url okay for that what we will do we will first give any value here we will submit this we will form a url and submit how we can see the url go to the overview and in overview we have the url here so just copy this and go back to here and give this now we can okay i think we need to add one more thing data content slash image okay yep so we will just copy this thing as is now what file path and image and image type go back we will go to the dev studio and in dev studio we will be going to the instance data content image here okay this is the file path and what else we need to give the image and type so logo dot <coughs> png so now we want to test this right whether this url will be showing the image or not so let's quickly test that out okay so it is giving the url so we are good now go back to uh, the app studio and we need to update this value to the property which we have set uh, in data transform go to the pre dt and here we need to give the value as this so we are done till this part now what okay you cannot show the value directly here okay uh, we need to have a view and that view should be read only and in that read only view we need to refer this property so for that what we will be doing we will be creating a view so read only view what i told you where we were creating in the details view right here sorry in the partial view so we will create one more view let's select this one and give the title as logo and submit open this logo view what field we need to give we will be giving the field as logo so either we can do from here or when we were working on this configure view right here we can add and create the view new and give the value here as well but as i wanted to tell you like in in what category it should be created so it should be in detail okay so in detail we have created that now we need we don't need this logo add view what view logo logo is view right i think we are done here let's move this to the top okay save let's test that scenario save and run next i'm not filling any detail or we can fill it the details here as well so it's just going to take time that's why i was not filling any detail okay why i cannot see the image let's debug that out 
go to the case type go to the first case go here go to the configure view and here in the logo open the view all good logo even this is fine okay it was not selected as url we need to select the value as image if you remember in logo we were uh, we selected the value as image right so what we need to do we need to select this type as the image and edit type is read only correct yeah i think we did not select the value as a read only and we selected as an image then it auto converted back to the url so i think now we are good let's again test that out fill the form next see we have achieved that functionality now you don't need to create the binary file and create the section and you know create the controls and include it no so that's the new approach how we can load the image in constellation so that was the first part okay now we will talk about the attachment so for attachment again quickly we will be going to the case type in the case type we will create two properties so why two property first property uh, will be creating for the attachment and it will be a type as a page so it will allow me to attach only one document okay similarly we will be creating a, another um, attachment property and will give the property type as a list so that it will allow me to attach multiple attachments let's see that so quickly we will create a attachment and for that we need to create a property so attach one type as attachment where are you attachment here and single page submit and similarly we will be creating one more attach two and again type should be attachment sorry attachment and here we will be selected the type as a list of records so this is the page list submit anything else we need to do uh, yes so for that first we will be test uh, we will test that out then we will try to limit the types uh, which attachment should allow so submit save and run next submit scroll down here so this was the attach one for a page type attachment it will only allow us to upload single document and it will allow multiple document let's see that so we will go and try to upload many files in a single go see i am trying to select that i am not able to select that open okay and i am not getting any other option to attach again right i need to delete that and i need to upload again let's see in the attachment to what is it's doing first second third fourth fifth sixth all every attachment it is allowing right now you can see uh, the type is odt png txt rtf pdf docs but i want to limit the type of the document which i need to attach so i will be limiting this to pdf and png only okay so let's submit that and go back to the case type and in case type 
we will be going to the configure view either go to the configure view change the type from here i think yeah this is the correct place so this is the extension what we need to give dot pdf comma dot png okay in this one i will give this and in list let's allow rtf comma dot tocx save and submit so this is the pega uh, provided option okay save and run session expire okay let me reload this again okay error again i need to go to the trial let's load it what is this continue to trial okay it's loaded go to the app studio and from app studio go to the case case type and run and save Okay, next, submit, quickly go to the attachment, here I am only able to select PDF and PNG because I was, I have given the extension as this one, right? So let's select this and for second one, I'm only able to allow RTF and docs. Okay, submit. Okay, let's quickly see uh, in backend uh, how this property gets created and what is the source they are referring. Okay, go to the record data model property. So first property was attach one. Here you can see they are referring to this PZ attachment field info and these are all the parameter. And this checkbox is selected, save parameter with this property and access on repo. Basically, it persists the value of parameter in the DB as well along with the another value. And go to the property again and see the attachment. So same. But here, this is the new option Pega provides in the page list here. You just check uh, with the previous version and let me know in the comment whether you get this option or not. So basically load each page in the page list individually. Uh, so what it does, it loads the data one by one. Okay, and upload in the clipboard. Now quickly go to the clipboard and uh, see the page, how it forms. Okay, my demo app work, first case. Let it open, go to clipboard, py work page, attach one, only page, attach two, this one, and this is second one. And both are referring to which? Embedded dot attached dot. So that's all for today. I hope you are liking my video and see you in next session. Bye, thank you.